everybody. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Welcome to another episode of the Coach's Corner. Woohoo! Yay! I'm really excited about today's episode, as I am always. But before I dive into any info, I'm going to put it out there that if you have Iris Vision and you need any kind of assistance or have any questions, please call in to our customer support line at 855 855- 207-6665, hit one for customer support, or I'm sorry, hit two for customer support. If you want to talk to a sales rep, say you don't have Iris Vision yet, but you have some questions, you've been looking at it, you've been wondering about it, you want to know if it works for you, well, call the same phone number, 855-207-6665, and one of our awesome sales reps will walk you through to see if you qualify for Iris Vision and which device you qualify for, because as many of you know, we have Iris Vision Live and Iris Vision Inspire. So depending on your eye condition and your sight loss, they will be able to help you determine which device is going to be a better fit for you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started here. Happy St. Patrick's Day, Betty and Jean. Hi. 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 So I'm really excited because Betty hung out with me last year for a coach's corner when she had just finished up her coaching sessions and she used Iris Vision for a little while. We had a really amazing interview. Please make sure you go check it out if you haven't seen it yet. And today we're going to catch up with her after a year to see how she's been doing. So how are you, Betty? How's everything going? Um, well, reading-wise, I'm doing just fine. Age-wise, I'm doing even better. I'm 97, just a few days back, ago. Um, oh, good. And March I'm, babies I'm are the best. <laughs> I'm reading, reading, reading. Awesome. So you've been keeping up your reading with your Iris Vision Live, right? Yes. And um, how has that been going? Has it been getting a little easier? Is it pretty much the same? It's uh, it's become just a, a matter of fact. I I have my easel set up in a corner of my bedroom. I have mm-hmm. the headset on a charger at all times. And when I feel like reading, I go in and pick up the headset, put it on, and start reading. There you go. Awesome. So you use your easel. That's great. Something that I always recommend in any coaching session is that you keep your reading material propped up and stable in order to help with that bounciness that inevitably happens when you're trying to read. So nice tip there, Betty, with the easel. That's something that I haven't really suggested before. I've suggested music stands, recipe book stands, um, book stands, but never an easel. So thank you so much for that. A pro tip directly from Betty Salvini today. (laughs) Love it. (laughs) So uh, Jean, uh, I'm sorry, Jeannie, how has everything been going for you as you know, the daughter of a partially sighted person, how uh, has the year been going? Have you seen your mom just be a little more independent and uh, use the device for maybe some different uh, activities of daily living? Well, she's still just using it for reading because she loves to read. And before she got the Irish vision, she could not read at all. So this is a huge change and it kind of fills her days more. She's in assisted living. She does chair exercises every day. She goes to her meals. They have music once in a while. But when there's downtime, she's just sitting, <clears throat> excuse me, and try to watch TV, which is very difficult. And uh, now she reads and she'd rather read than do anything else. And she's not reading little tiny books. So we're talking 400 page books. And I think wow. last time, was 14 books this year something like that yeah so that's amazing oh wow so you've read 14 books since the last time we met I I just as soon as I finish one I set up another one and start out again and and I'm not just reading I'm living these books (laughs) (laughs) that's awesome it's so nice to be able to escape into a book and a lot of the time uh, clients who come to us and want to accomplish reading, it can be challenging for some people. So it's really great to see that you are able to use the device for reading. And 
I don't know what it's really like. I mean, I used to read when I had sight way, way back in the day when I was like a really young kid. I was diagnosed at 12. So I'm fine with audiobooks, but I know some people really miss actually holding the book, turning the page, and getting lost in the book that way. So it's very cool to hear that you're able to do that with your iris vision. I and have then, another use. I have another use for the uh, iris, and that is that uh, when I went, since I do have the easel set up, and I receive bulletins or newsletters uh, or other information that's just maybe maybe one page or two, I can pin it up onto the pages of my book, and and read it, uh, just as I would read a book, and I'm able to keep up with my mail and. Uh, and the news uh, sources that come from the, I'm in a, an assisted living situation. And, okay. uh, and I'm able to keep up with the information they're sending out in this way. And you can read your menu and see what's I, coming I read my menu, That's... I can read the activities that are happening uh, by just pinning my information up to the, the open page of my book. Nice. And that's what I was going to say too, Jeannie. I was going to say you could read the menu, right? That's yes. really cool. You're able to keep up with everything and still find that a bit of independence by being able to read, again, your own menu, the activities list. So you still can participate and socialize. Uh, a lot of time people can't see that stuff, so they just don't do anything because they don't know what's going on, right? Um, sometimes they get people who help them see those type of things, but it really is so nice to be able to just do it yourself, right? Um, yes. I'm one who definitely gets assistance from people as well. My, um, my boyfriend, my daughters, they help me read things. My parents, you know, my siblings, everyone always is willing to help and that's really great, but it's nice to be able to be independent as well, right, Betty? Yes, it is. My my main difficulty is trying to read people's handwriting. I have trouble with that. Yeah, that's a little tough because it depends on whether they have good penmanship or not. <laughs> that's right. It's usually not her problem. It's the handwriting. <laughs> yes. Very cool. And so has your site progressed at all? Has it stayed pretty stable? Apparently, it's quite stable. Um, depending on the the length that I uh, the length that I'm sitting away from the printed page, uh, the the size of the print changes just a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, so right. If I get very close, it's just huge. <laughs> <laughs> but, right. Um, yeah. I, uh, well, it's uh, it's no problem. Good. I'm glad to hear that. I'm really glad to hear that. Um, it's always nice to have stable sight, especially when you're experiencing sight loss. Uh, once you get into that stability, it's uh, kind of um, like a weight off your shoulders, you know, an anxiety, a stress that uh, doesn't really need to be there. So a lot of people experience sight loss rapidly. Some people experience it a little slower. And for some, it's stable, like for you which is really great. And the other uh, really awesome thing that I wanted to bring up the other point is that sometimes people have questions about whether or not the device is going to affect their eyesight. So it's really great to hear that your site has been pretty much stable uh, since the last time we chatted. Yes, it has. My eyes do get tired if I read for a long time, but sure. uh, the, the time of charging kind of controls me uh, of I, I can I, I can't read beyond uh, the, you know the charged book so uh, when my charging runs out and I have to hook it up again that stops my reading and I, my eyes can rest there you go you probably, you probably need that rest <laughs> yes I do yes <laughs> in general eyes can get fatigued uh, from reading but then when you put a device on like iris vision and include the magnification and now you're reading off a digital screen it can strain your eyes a bit more so that is normal but it's really cool to hear 
that you're just, you know, so adamant about reading and the device is working so great for you that, you know, you kind of, it sounds like you kind of really crave being able to use the iris vision to be able to get lost in your books. Ever since the, the day that I read about Dick and Jane and th their dog Spot in the first <laughs> grade, I have loved to read and, and I do crave it. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's awesome. Well, I am so happy to hear that things are going uh, well for you. And I'm glad to hear that you have that little bit of independence and confidence by using Iris Vision and being able to read. I know that's really huge for people. And Jeannie, it's so nice to hear from you too. And of course, sight loss doesn't just affect the person directly, it also affects the loved ones as well. So it's very cool to see that you have Jeannie there by your side, Betty. And uh, Jeannie, yes. what a great daughter you are. Yes, I, I wouldn't be able to do it without her. Well, I just, I'm the only one that lives close by. She has many that will help her out whenever she's around them. So I'm lucky to have her with me. That's great. How many children do you have, Betty? I have, well, I've, I had three. I have two living children, but they live in another country. So they're not uh, right here. I do have five stepchildren. And oh, wow. those, are, those are the ones who uh, have come to my aid. Jeannie Very is good. one of them. Yes, nothing better Very than nice. that. <laughs> and how many grandchildren do you have? Oh my. Uh, I believe, I think it's nine right now. It changes every once in a while. And I have <laughs> several great, great grandchildren. Yes. Oh, wonderful. Have they ever seen you wearing your iris vision? No, no. These, no. these children live in Hawaii. Uh, oh, <laughs> that's kind of so, far. <laughs> yes. Did you show Kathy and Susie when they were here? Yes, yes, okay. I did. My children, my grown children have seen it. Um, and other people here in the building have seen it. I've shown it to them. But, you know, if you're not a person without sight, you don't really understand what it's all about. Right. That's true. That's true. So, Betty. What words of wisdom do you have for those out there watching, for those who need a little inspiration or a little motivation, maybe someone's feeling down about losing their sight or doesn't know what to do, what would you say to someone that is looking for some kind of answer or inspiration? I first want to say that I certainly do understand the despair that people feel when they realize they're losing their sight because I went through both of, with both of my eyes one at a time. But the thing is, there is help. I was never told that there was going to be help uh, that I would be able to see again. <clears throat> but um, thanks to Jeannie and my grandson, they've, they just kept searching until they found Iris and, and came to my defense. So whatever you do, don't give up. There's always help. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. And Jeannie, how about you? What, what words do you have for those who are maybe the um, daughter or grandchild or someone of uh, someone who has partial sight? Well, I would say don't give up too. <clears throat> Excuse me, don't give up too. <clears throat> Excuse me. I, um, I researched a lot, you know, and I finally found it online and then we tried it. And don't be afraid to try it. She knew the minute she put it on, she could see pictures on the wall. And I mean, it just completely changed her life. So don't give up, try different things. We've tried different devices that weren't quite as, worked as quite as well as this one, but this one has been excellent. Awesome, wonderful. Well, thank you ladies so much for taking the time to check in with us again after a year. We'll catch up with you again next year, Betty. <laughs> Yes. Well, the closer I get to 100, the better it's going to be, I guess. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much again. Wonderful, wonderful to hear from you. Great story, great inspiration. And I look forward to meeting with you again. In the meantime, for those of you out there watching, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, please put them below. An Iris Vision representative will uh, get right back to you. 
If you're interested in being on the Coach's Corner, say you're a user of the device, let me know, okay? I would be so happy to have you on the show and share your story as well because you may be an inspiration for someone else just like Betty is for many. All right. Thank you, ladies. Have an awesome uh, St. Patrick's Day and we'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you, Bye.